Well, hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in to my video on the differences between the 2018 Dodge Demon and the brand new 2023 Dodge Demon 170. Yes, in typical Dodge fashion, everything's a mouthful. Without further ado, let's dive into it. I want to dabble real quick about the logo. So here you could see the 2018 Dodge Demon logo. And switching over to the new 170 logo, we can see it's pretty much the same logo, minus it saying 170 on the bottom and the fact that the eye is now yellow, kind of like the red eye, except obviously yellow represents corn E85. So although there's a lot of controversy with the fact that this is called a demon, well, a demon 170, what's the real differences in the name? According to Dodge, 170 is the proof ethanol fuel mixture. Well, which basically means E85. But I can assure you this car is a lot more than just E85. Let's dive into the engine. Sure, the two share an iron block with the same 376 cubic inch of displacement. But the 170 motor has new internals. We're talking newer and stronger crank, rods, pistons, as well as a massive 105 millimeter throttle body. The supercharger is even bigger at 3 liters compared to the Demon's 2.7 liters. The new 3 liter supercharger makes 21.3 pounds of, I want to say pounds of torque, pounds of boost, um, or PSI, compared to the Demon's 14.5. Fun fact, let me add, the new 3 liter supercharger is a modified and borrowed supercharger from the Elephant crate engine. Now, if you're asking, how come they just put the hell of an engine in this vehicle, well, that's because it won't pass emissions. Ironically, the only thing that's actually the same in the engine between the Demon and the Demon 170 is the camshaft. Um, I wouldn't mind them upgrading that with a little thump thump, right? So with all this extra power that the Demon 170 is making, you can imagine they definitely upgraded the drivetrain, including the rear half shafts now feature 43 splines, two more found in those in the red eye, the rear end is upgraded to a massive 244 millimeters with a 3.09 rear axle ratio. They're also calling the new trans brake, the trans brake 2.0, which we'll cover a little bit more further in this video. Let's discuss tires real quick. The 2018 Dodge Demon came equipped with 315-40-18 Nitto NT-05R drag radials. While the brand new 2023 Dodge Demon 170 comes equipped with Mickey Thompson ET Street R's and that's in a size 315 by 50 on a 17 inch rim on the rear and 245, 55, 18 on the front. Now if anyone knows anything about drag racing tires, you already know that the ET Street R's are way more of a serious drag radial than the NT 05 R's which in theory should give the 170 better traction and we all know it needs it. Speaking of traction, Dodge says the new Trans Brake 2.0 enables more advanced launch settings including the ability to manipulate the torque curve to match surface conditions. Once again, with 945 foot-pounds of torque going to the rear wheels only, it's going to need all the help it can get. Now that we discussed the technical differences between the two demons, I want to move over to the exterior, or really the visual. And the first thing you're going to notice is they have the same hood. That's a demon hood, which makes sense because they're both the demon, which is kind of controversial in itself. A lot of the original demon owners are kind of pissed off. They feel like they were ripped off, but that would be a different video for a different day. Um, speaking of controversial though, one of the differences between the two demons on the 170 is the front fender flare is actually missing on the new demon. Now, in my personal opinion, hear me out, I actually think it's going to look killer once it has some true skinnies up front. The 2018, the 2018 Demon always looked a little funny with the factory skinnies they provided you with the fender flares. Other than that, the 170, only other optional thing it has to be different from the OG Demon is the Satan, I mean Satin, <laughs> Satan, <laughs> uh, black painted hood and roof deck lid. Other than that, the exterior of these two vehicles, along with the rims, are pretty identical. Um, but speaking of, you know, identical, let's talk colors. So, um, as far as I could tell, 
all the colors offered for the 2018 Dodge Demon are now being offered again for the 2023. However, we have some new colors. One of them being a cinnamon stick, which is like a copper orange, and the other one being a sublime. Or at least that's the color code. So we got green. It's like a nice Lamborghini, maybe McLaren bright green is what you can think of. I probably would stick with the plum crazy purple, but that's just me. Now let's dive into the real heart of this conversation. Let's talk some numbers, right? The 2018 Dodge Demon makes 840 horsepower while it's being fueled with its race gas tune option. The new 170 makes an outstanding or out, outlandish 1,025 horsepower, one running on E85. I don't kid yourself, both these horsepower numbers for a production car, it's pretty crazy. Sticking to performance numbers, let's talk about 0 to 60, which used to be a real legitimate benchmark when measuring the performance of sports cars. The 2018 Dodge Demon, with once again running on race fuel, comes in at a blistering 2.1 seconds. However, the new Demon 170 does it in an insane 1.66 seconds. Well, let me be clear, these are some really crazy 0 to 60 times. If you've been in the hobby as long as me, and I haven't been in the hobby terribly long, it wasn't that long ago that anything that ran a sub 5 seconds to 60 was considered fast. We just live in a really crazy time now, and I don't think any of us are complaining. Now let's talk about what these two demons are really designed to do, which is how long it takes them to cover 1,320 feet. If you don't know what I'm referring to, I'm talking about drag racing, the quarter mile. That's how many feet there is in a quarter mile. Now the 2018 Dodge Demon did it in an officially 9.65 seconds at 140 miles an hour while being on a prep surface with its race gas. Now let me be clear about something before I discuss the new Demon 170 quarter mile time. The rough rule of thumb is every tenth of a second is about a car length. Now it's a rough guesstimate, but I really want to put in perspective how much faster this new Demon is. The new 2023 Demon 170 runs a quarter mile in an astonishing 8.91 seconds at 151 miles an hour, which is officially the fastest production car you can buy. Faster than Tesla Plaid, faster than the Bugatti Chiron. Now, let me be clear, this of course is going to be with perfect condition. Just like the original Dodge Demon, not everyone was able to reproduce 9.65 seconds. Quite a few people ran in the nines, but really you need perfect conditions, perfect air. When I say perfect conditions, I'm referring to like perfect track setup, an experienced if not professional driver. Um, with once again, uh, perfect conditions, not just with preparation with the track, but being in a low, death, low air, um, what they call DA. Um, close to sea level to really click off these type of time. Even though the new Dodge Demon is officially the fastest production car in the world currently, it's still going to be interesting to see how it stacks up against the big hitters like the Tesla Plaid or even the gigantic Bugatti Chiron. Now, as much as I am a Dodge fan, I own a Scat Pack myself, uh, I'm going to say the advantage is probably still going to be with these all-wheel drive monsters when it comes to racing and street conditions. But I can assure you there's going to be plenty of videos coming out with the new Dodge Demon racing against these other monsters. And I'm sure there will even be a video of the original Dodge Demon versus the 2023 Dodge Demon to see really how much faster it is. And I can tell you I look forward to these videos. Well guys, that's the end of my video. If there's anything I missed or anything else worth mentioning, please leave it in the comments below. If you liked the video, you know what to do on YouTube. Smash that like button. If you want to consider subscribing to my videos, Please don't hesitate to do so. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy.